welcome to my kitchen. I'm Karen Whiting. You can find me at www.karenwhiting.com and from there you can link into my social media and chat with me when you want to. Today we're making some quick little tasty treats and we're using refrigerated dough, refrigerated crescent dough and refrigerated pizza dough. And these are easy and fast. You know, we think everything is instant and fast for us. But we know God was even faster. He just rained down manna for the Israelites in Exodus 16, and he fed one of his prophets, Elijah, both by a raven and angels bringing food. And, and that's in um, King, 2 Kings uh, 17 and 19. So today we're going to be making some little pizza bites and some garlic, nice, tasty little garlic. Um, bows and to do that I'm going to cut some strips of my pizza dough and I like to kind of make it a little more rounded so I'm going to round it up a bit and then I form it into a little knot and I'm going to cook it not in the oven but in my air fryer which I've already heated up and I've been using a little bit so I'm going to just make a couple more knots here they don't take very long to do or to cook but they're you know kind of Fun to have and all that nice fresh garlic taste and I have some garlic and oil that I will put on them and I can do it that way or I can take a brush and brush it on either way I just want to make sure I get a little bit of the garlic flavor into it and then to do the little uh, stuffed pizza rolls I'm going to take another piece of pizza dough and I'm going to take my sauce that I have here and you can use whatever pizza or uh, Italian spaghetti type sauce that you want to use. You can even use barbecue sauce if you prefer that and want that type of a pizza bite filling. I'm going to use some bacon and some mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle that all on here. And I'm going to kind of roll it over each other on here and close it up. And then this needs a little bit of oil on it, but I'm going to use just, just the oil, not the garlic with it. You could, if you want the garlic taste, use that. I'm going to put it in my air fryer since they're all, they can just go in here at the same time. And it's only going to take a couple of minutes. It does get a little bit noisy, so I'll have to make sure I talk over that. Now, with the crescent rolls, I'm making several different little things. I can make little cheese puffs, or I can make cinnamon swirls and uh, with chocolate chips in them. And I can also make some masaladas. When I lived in Hawaii, we had these wonderful little donut holes called masalada, is a Portuguese name. And to do those, I just take a piece of my refrigerated dough, roll it into a ball. I'm going to put some oil on it, and I'm going to just uh, cook it up for a couple minutes in the air fryer, and then I'm going to shake it in a little bag of sugar. And you can add cinnamon sugar to it, but normally it's just plain sugar make these masaladas and so we make just several little balls just tearing off the dough as we want to and get them ready and they're going to puff up and be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. In fact the name masalada means poorly cooked because of it not being evenly cooked everywhere but having that contrast of the outside being crispy and the inside being a little more done and those are still cooking up so I'm going to take those and get them ready. These are little thing balls. I'm just going to put them in a little bit of oil and have them ready to go. I could spray them. I'm just today using my oil. And they'll be ready to pop into my air fryer. The other things I'm making, I'm actually going to cook in the oven. And I have done that earlier today so you can see what the finished product looks like. And I took my crescent dough, cut one of the uh, rolls in half, and you can, that's because I'm just making a couple of each. You could certainly use the whole tube, each of the two tubes, and unroll that and use it. You can even keep it and just slice it, but I like to put whatever I'm putting onto it, like cheese. Oh, and I wasn't going to use this cheese. I was going to use Parmesan cheese on this one. So I'm going to do Parmesan cheese. I'm going to roll it up, and once I do that, it's rolled back up, 
I'm going to slice it. And each of these little wedges have the cheese in them now. And when I go to put it on my cookie tray, I'm going to add a little more cheese on the top and then I can just cook them for six minutes at 400 degrees. Now with my other piece of dough, I want to make my little cinnamon rolls. I'm putting a little bit of oil on it. You can do oil or you can do some butter. And I'm going to take some cinnamon sugar. And you can buy it already made or you can mix your own cinnamon and sugar. And I'm going to spread that on everywhere. Or you can sprinkle it. And I'm going to take some chocolate chips and spread them on too. And they'll be really tasty little desserts. Now I just roll these up. And again, I'm just going to slice them and bake them just as they are. They'll be just fine. I can push up and you can see those chocolate chips on the inside of it, ready to go. And they'll come out really nice with your little chocolate chips in them. Just see how this is going here. Oh, look, these are ready. So I have my little pizza roll. And I've got my uh, garlic bows here, ready to be eaten. And now I'm going to put these masaladas in and let them cook for a couple of minutes in the air fryer. I really like using an air fryer because it's so fast and it's so easy and it's easy to clean. And then I will continue with my dough. I can take very tiny little bits and put them in just to make some sort of little pretzels. So if I want to just cut little pieces and not do really anything to them, just put a little bit of oil on them, actually a plain oil, maybe put a little salt on or wait till they come out and salt them with some coarse salt, I can do that and just make some little pretzel bites and those will be fine too because there's just so many things you can do with this refrigerated dough and it doesn't take much work to do it. So I just get all these things ready to cook up and then we would say bon appetit but I want to make sure we look at some of these masaladas as they get done. And I'm going to make sure they don't get pushed together here so they're just cooking right in there and that will work out really well. Now you can use this refrigerator dough or say in my book The Gift of Bread I have got recipes for pizza dough and the refrigerated uh, recipes, both a yeast recipe as well as the Civil War biscuit, which is my basic biscuit dough. You can use any of these doughs to make these same things. Now I like the pizza dough to give more of that pizza crunch when you're going to make a filled little uh, pizza roll. And also for the bows. I have done the garlic bows with just the crescent roll or the biscuit dough, but it's a little bit chewier and more like your, what you find in an Italian restaurant if you do use the pizza dough. And that comes out really well and it's very simple to do. And you can do them in the oven, so if you don't have a fryer, that's fine. But the masaladas have to have oil, so you either have to do them in a little pan of oil, very hot oil, or you have to put them into the air fryer in order to cook them up. And they're all starting to get done now. In a minute or so, they should be ready. <laughs> so, again, if you want to find me, Karen Whiting, go to www.karenwhiting.com. And that's my website. You can sign up for my newsletter or get my biscuit dough recipe for free when you sign up for the newsletter and some other tips from me. And in my newsletter, I usually have either a craft or a recipe each time. I only do it quarterly. Uh, I think it's easier not to be too inundated with too many things in our email boxes. And it's also easier not to have to write too many things and come up with something new all the time. Although I'm always making something new in my kitchen. So here, let me take out one of these masalas that's done. And all I have to do now is shake it in my little bag. ready and scrumptious, all set to eat. So, enjoy making special treats, and it doesn't take much to do it. Just one or two rolls of different types of dough, and you can make a whole spectrum of treats without having to make separate entities, and making a, a, and then have a big spread that looks like you 
spend all day making lots of different things. So have a great time and